All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenta. Thanks for checking out my show. Wow, I'm kind of bouncing between videos, podcasts, and all these other things lately, interviews, Zoom calls. I get a little confused. But what I want to talk about in this podcast is another thing related to fitness. I haven't been doing a lot of videos or podcasts like I was previously during COVID. But now that I'm going to be starting an anti-aging experience, um, different things online regarding that, coaching and consulting, possibly many other things. Um, it's really about helping people feel more youthful, looking more youthful, just feeling better. Uh, what I want to get into today is something I might have brought up in the past with certain type of workouts on my videos, but I just want to like really zone in on this. And what I call it is even if you're overweight, keep doing abs. Now you may be like, Rich, I don't even give a shit about anything, health or wellness or whatever. If you feel that way, most likely this podcast isn't for you. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, regardless what age you are, I want you to keep doing some type of core workout, mainly abs. I don't care if there's nothing else you do right now. I really want you to start focusing in, <clears throat> excuse me, on your core, especially if you're middle-aged or older. Because that's one of the areas I think most people neglect the most. This is men and women. I was one of these people throughout most of my life. Honestly, when I was younger, I always had a six-pack just because I always worked out and I was very thin. But I had a very bad burn on my stomach and it looked very disorientated. That's probably why I never went into bodybuilding. But my stomach is kind of all tore up from a, you know, a freak accident that happened when I was a baby, which, believe me, it had no impact on my life whatsoever because I don't think I ever wanted to be a bodybuilder. I just wanted to be big, so... Sometimes my mind gets nervous because it was just an accident that happened. Um, but I think she thought I might end up having a complex, which I don't have one whatsoever. I could care less and I always take my shirt off. So that's not part of it. But through my 20s and a lot of my 30s, most of my friends uh, were like wanted a beautiful body. I just wanted to be massive. But I hung out with tons of gym rats, tons of different guys in health and wellness and fitness. And a lot of them looked like gods. I started to become one of the bigger guys, but I definitely didn't look the best shape. I had big arms and legs and chest, kind of like a muscle head, 240, 250, no abs, kind of a belly. But I knew as I aged, I had to get rid of that, which I did. I started basically in my late 30s, really starting to lose weight. So being 230 to 250, a lot of times I slowly but surely got down to about 212-ish and then down to 200. But for the last 12, 15 years... I knew that I had, for me to like get in better shape as I got older, because I just looked at everybody older and knew that, especially men, but women too, their bellies just were huge, right? A lot of people's arms are okay. The legs are okay. The belly just go, you know, that beach ball belly comes. A lot of people, I think males from over 50 to th or whatever, 35 to 70, whatever, gain 30, 40 pounds. And I knew that. Same with a lot of women, you know, after they have children and certain things happen, they, they get that, you know, that, uh, you know, that belly. And I, it's, I can't even imagine having children and trying to maintain that. But put that aside, I started to do a lot of abs with my workouts continuously. And then eventually in the last probably decade, you know, I used to hear all the time, do abs last, you know, with your workouts. And uh, because if you do them at the beginning, that's where most of your energy, you'll exhaust your other workout. And I said, who gives a shit? I want my midsection and my core to be one of the main things I focus in on. And one of my cousins actually owns a Pilates place. And he's the one who used to always say, Rich, you got it all. Get the abs. Lose that weight. You know, your arms, legs, back, chest are in really good shape, shoulders. So he was right about that. But I always did abs. I, not always. The last 12 years, I kept up with it. And I'm going to tell you right now, now a lot of my friends that were all very fit or thin in the waist area, this goes for bodybuilders, powerlifters, all these different guys in great shape, play all different types of sports. The one thing they kind of neglected was their core. And, you know, now I'm kind of the one with the, the smallest stomach for the most part and the most lean. And because I always did abs, do I have a six pack? Absolutely not. Abs I could probably come close to getting one. I call it a one ab or a one and a half because my top I got it. But my waist is still very thin and very strong. I think that's one of the things people have to realize is doing stomach or working out your core, you're not going to necessarily have a six pack, an eight pack, a four pack. Who gives a shit? We want to keep that tight and healthy. We want to keep that waistline down. 
okay? And how you're going to do that is take an honest approach. But just because you have a big waist doesn't mean you should be like, oh, you know what, I got to first, I got to lose all this weight first, then I'm going to start doing abs. And I know I've heard that throughout my life because you're also hearing it's a waste of time if you do abs and you don't lose weight or you don't get that weight off you. I'm going to kind of call bullshit because even when I was heavier, I'm just going to tell you, like 220 to 230, I started doing abs around then more and more. My stomach was coming down, but it was strong. It like my whole core was still strong. We want to not only do things, not only because it look looks good, we want to make sure our core area is strong. We have a strong foundation. So that you're not just doing abs for a six pack or looking good, which sure that could be part of it, but most people aren't even gonna end up with a six pack or any of that because they don't diet correctly. Or you may be too old, or whatever the case may be, we're doing it so to stay in better shape. All right, I'm just telling you. So I just want to do a quick podcast on this and definitely do abs. You could do them at home. I talked to my dad about that a lot and he still does a lot of stomach and he looks great. The one thing he does do over anything is stomach. I was shocked when I went to LA Fitness with him. I was doing ab workout with him. He was killing it. And the guy's like 76 years old. And I was amazed. He goes, yeah, you're right. You know, we've even discussed it. He even has that ab. He lays down on his back. He goes, I do this almost every other day. You know, me and him even talk about it. But just him doing that has kept his waistline down so he can still wear the clothes he's worn throughout his entire life. He's always done abs. Usually when I think he wakes up or before maybe he goes to bed, right next to his bed. But again, you don't have to spend a million dollars. Uh, a million dollars. You don't have to spend a ton of money going to the gym, signing up for Pilates, doing yoga. You may just want to learn how to do abs at home. And also, you may be shocked if you do start to lose a little weight and you start getting a stronger core, you start looking at yourself in the mirror, or you just start feeling better in general. That may also start motivating you to start working out other parts of your body. All right? So... I'll wrap it up there. If you got any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up, rich at richchalenza.com. My website's richchalenza.com. And if you're interested in this video, I have hundreds, thousands at this point on YouTube when I talk about a lot of things like this and taking a different approach than most people when it comes to fitness. All right? Take care, everyone. I wish you nothing but the best.